Hi everyone, my name is Carlos and I work as a data scientist at SAS. Today, I'm going to show you how to plan an optimal tour to visit London using the SAS Network Optimization Package. But first, let me explain why network optimization is important and especially important for smart cities. Network optimization can be applied to better understand not just the human mobility behavior, but uh, also to describe the network topology itself. For example, it can reveal the critical routes in the network, or what is the reachability of this particular network, or the best routes to flow people or goods throughout the network, or to find the best or shortest routes between any pair of location, or in particular, in our case today, how to find the optimal tour of London, considering several places I want to visit. Today, I'm going to combine walking and the public transportation system. SaaS Network Optimization Package provides several different algorithms that help us to understand a multimodal transportation network system, or a network system that combines different types of transport. For instance, the minimum spanning tree algorithm can reveal the most critical routes that needs to be kept in order to maintain the same level of accessibility in the current transportation network. The minimum cost network flow can describe the optimal way to flow the population throughout the city by using the public transportation network, for example, or allowing the public agencies to better understand and plan the commuting roads. The path algorithm can reveal, for instance, all possible uh, roads between any pair of locations, and the shortest path can reveal the best route out of them. Shortest here can really mean the shortest in terms of distance or the fastest route, or maybe the cheapest route. The transit closure algorithm can identify what pair of locations are joined by some particular route, eventually helping the public agents to account for the reachability in the city or to account for alternate routes in case of uh, unexpected events, among any, many, many other applications. Today, I'm going to talk about the traveling salesman problem, or just TSP. So based on a set of places I want to visit in London and based on the current public transportation system available, I will search for the best tour to minimize the distance I'm going to walk. And this is important here. I'm not trying to minimize the total distance, but just the walking distance. Okay, now you think I'm lazy. I actually like walking, but uh, I'm also like enjoying the places, so I need to mix my walking to the public transportation system in order to make my tour, let's say, more pleasant and definitely faster. And the challenge here is exactly this mix, walking and the public transportation network. Usually great metropolitan areas uh, provide many options in terms of public transportation. A real multimodal system, including buses, trams, trains, metro, and so on. A multimodal transportation network uh, quite often provides a good solution in terms of reachability, actually allowing people to move around in the city based on different types of transportation modes. So these different types of transportation modes actually expand the possible roads uh, to reach any location in the city. It creates a kind of a denser network, allowing people to reach locations easier and mostly faster. Well, this is actually one of the reasons uh, we are using London here as an example. The public transportation network system is, is really good. Another very important technical aspect to select London is, I love the city. I think it's a, one of the most vibrant city in the world. You have to agree with me that this is a very, tech, a very important technical aspect, right? So for this case, I'm using the open data provided by Transport for London, uh, which I already downloaded. 
all the data about the lines, about the stations, uh, about the timelines, so I can understand all possible sequence in the routes. When we jump into the code, I'm going to show you how to load this data into SAS, how to create the transportation network, and based on that, how to find the best tour. I already selected some cool places that I want to visit in London, very easy, especially in London, and I would say that all my personal preference. So let's take a look at how this works. So first, I need to create my data set with all the 30 places I want to visit. And of course, I uh, start an ending point. And for me, the starting ending point for my tour is going to be a hotel. So let's create all the 30 places in a data set. Here, I'm using an open source map library to show all the results on a map. So let me run this piece of code here that I create a HTML file so we can see all the places I want to visit in London on a map. So I need to download this file so I can open it. So here you can see all the results. So we definitely have mostly places uh, to visit like the London Eye, the Tower Bridge, uh, Hyde Park, but also we have some pubs, after all, we are in London. So we have probably my, my personal preference, the Mayflower, the Harp. Uh, we have a French house. Uh, we have the Dove. So I love them all. So after a lot of a different pubs, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to finish this tour sober. But let's, let's try. It's worth to try. I create a combination of all possible vectors that connect the places I want to visit. That would be basically my solution space for the optimal tour. And again, I can create my HTML file so I can see all the possible vectors that connect the places I want to go on a map. So again, let me uh, download this file and open. So here you can see that uh, a lot of different ways to get this tour done. So uh, different options to go from one place to another. So we really need a effective uh, network optimization algorithm to calculate the best tour for me. So let's do this. First thing in order to calculate the optimal tour is I need to know the distance between all the pairs of locations. So here, I'm going to calculate the Euclidean distance between all the possible pairs. Based on that, I actually have my, my network. So I have all the links, which are all the connections between the places I want to visit. And I have all the nodes, which are actually the places I want to, I want to go. And based on that, I can uh, execute my traveling sales spin problem algorithm to identify or to search the optimal tour. So something important here is that as any tour, I can't start and, and end at any place. It's, it's a kind of cycle. So of course, the start and ending point supposed to be the same. But in this particular case, I want to start and finish at the CITSMM hotel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the results from the TSP algorithm, and I'm going to define the sits and M as my start and ending point. So by doing this, I can, I can have the right sequence for the places I need to visit, and I can guarantee that I'm going to start and finish at the Nob Hotel, at the sits and M Hotel. So here I can calculate how long it takes my tour in terms of time and distance so my tour is going to be about almost 24 miles and almost eight hours to cover by walking i think it's too much but let's create the html file so we can see the best tour in a map again i'm going to download the file and open it and here you can see it's pretty fast but uh you can see the right sequence to visit all the 30 places starting from sits and m and ending the tour 
at since m again uh, all the right sequence at the optimal sequence so I can minimize the distance I'm going to walk well looking at the results uh, almost 24 miles almost eight hours to cover uh, it definitely can be too much especially because of the pubs so I I need help here so I'm going to add the main lines of the public transportation uh, in London so I downloaded from transport for London and I'm gonna add all those main lines to my network so I can mix the walking tour and the public transportation network tour so let's do this so here I basically I already download all the files for the the trains the metro uh, all the timelines all the timetables so I can identify the right sequence of stations so I basically here going to load all the data into SAS data set so here I'm considering as you can see 25 lines including tube overground TFL rail uh, the national rail and tram and from those 25 lines I have 652 different stations so stations so that actually create a very nice transportation network very dense network that allows me to reach different place uh, easier and faster so let's create the HTML file so we can see that on the map so again let me download the file and open it and this is very familiar for all those people that live in London or visit London frequently so I'm trying even to uh, to maintain the same colors for the lines so it's it's pretty dense and it's very very good uh, public transportation network so my new tour is going to be based on that as well so now let's uh, calculate the optimal tour considering not just the walking option but also the the public transportation but first uh, something very important I need to decide when to walk and when to take the public transportation for example if uh, if I'm walking from the origin place to the closest station to that place and then from the closest station to the destination place to the destination place itself if this total distance is greater than the distance to just walk from the origin place to the destination place there is no reason to take the public transportation so I go by walk otherwise if the distance is uh, less than the straight distance from the origin to destination I, I will walk less from the place to the station so I'm gonna take the public transportation so I need to calculate first the closest station for each one of the point of interest each one of the the places I want to visit in order to calculate um, in order to make this decision to take the public, trans the public transportation or to walk so here I'm basically calculating uh, from all the transport of London network uh, what is the closest station to each one of those 30 places I want to visit so I can decide to walk or take the public transportation for any pair uh, of locations I'm, I'm walking through my tour so let's take a look at this uh, on on a map so I'm going to create the HTML file again so let me download the file and open it so here for instance we can see uh, all the places I want to go and the closest station for uh, each one of those places for instance if I if I go to Knights Ridge actually if I'm going to Hyde Park I need to drop uh, at Knights Ridge station so here I calculate uh, all the distance between the places I want to visit and between the places and the closest station so I can I can compare uh, when it's it's worth to walk and when I need to take the public transportation in order to minimize the walking distance so I compare all the distance and here you see that the type W and T so if the, the distance is greater than 
the distance between a pair of locations by going the locations to the closest station. Uh, it means uh, I go by walk, otherwise I go by uh, any public transportation. So once I have uh, for each step of my optimal tour, uh, when I go for the public transportation, when I walk, I can uh, recalculate my tour. So I'm rerunning the TSP algorithm and pretty much like the first time I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate uh, the results from the TSP and I'm going to set the Citizen N hotel as a starting and ending point for my tour. Actually, now we have a very important step in, in this multimodal transportation system optimal tour. Uh, for each place I take the public transportation, I actually need to calculate the shortest path. And this is based on the transportation network I have, which allows me uh, to go from one place to another by using uh, different lines or different types of transportation. I, I can go by train, I can go by metro, I can use different lines in the metro. So especially in a denser network like the public transportation in London, I usually have multiple options to go from one place to another. So I actually I need to find the shortest path uh, between each pair of location in my tour that I will take the public transportation. So let's, uh, let's calculate that. And of course, I'm going to calculate this just if I have to take the public transportation. So I select all these steps in my tour that I'm going to take the public transportation. And then I calculate the shortest path uh, for each pair of this uh, step in my optimal tour. So now I'm, I'm going to... So at the end, if I walk, uh, I have a straight route from place A to place B. But if I'm taking the public transportation, I have a sequence of steps to go from my origin place to my destination place. So then I need to put all those sequence together. So in that code, I, I merge all my routes by walking and all my shortest steps routes when I take the public transportation into a single sequence uh, of visits. And of course, I can calculate again the distance and the time that tour is going to take me. So now, uh, to visit all the places, I travel uh, 41.5 miles, but I walk uh, just uh, 4.2 miles. And 37.3 miles, I'm going to cover by using uh, the public transportation. So the whole tour take me just three hours and 12 minutes. So if, uh, if I recall the walking tour, I had to walk almost 24 miles and the tour will take me almost eight hours. So the multimodal uh, tour saved me almost 20 miles and almost four and a half hours to cover all the place. So definitely I'm gonna use these four hours doing uh, other stuff, maybe enjoying more the pubs. Let's create the HTML file so we can see that result on the map. So let me download the file and open it. So here again, you have a very similar sequence of places, but in some cases I'm going to walk, in some cases I'm going to take the public transportation. For each step I take the public transportation, I calculate the shortest path so that you can see that even from one place to another, eventually I need to switch lines or switch modes of transport, for instance, from metro to train or something like this. So here, this is my final tour. So there is a lot of uh, uh, public transportation uh, decisions I made uh, to, to cover uh, all the 30 places in my optimal tour. And I, I still have to walk, but uh, especially if I have uh, places to visit very close to each other, uh, I, I basically walk, but uh, if the distance is a little bit longer, then I start taking the, the public transportation. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration. I know it was very simple, but I think you can easily extend 
this technique to solve complex problems in network optimization, even considering different types of industries. Uh, please feel free to leave comments and questions. Uh, for more information, check out those links below. And do not forget to subscribe to the SaaS user channel for information and tips like this one. Thanks for watching.